Hi, welcome to my channel. If you came here through my Etsy shop, thank you for your purchase. If you just randomly found my video, check out my Etsy shop, the link is in the description. You'll find some cool and awesome photo collage there. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the College of Canva template that you purchase from my shop. First, click on the link given to access the template. Then, click Use Template to continue. If you don't have a Canva account, you need to sign up first. Don't worry, it's free, and you'll get to use plenty of features with the free account. Once you're done with the sign up, the template will open. You'll see all the pages available at the bottom. Now, I'll show you how you can use the template to create your own photo collage. First, let's open a new Canva document. Go to File, Create New Design, select Custom Size, and enter the size you want for your collage. I'm gonna enter 8 times 10 inches here. Then, click Create New Design button. A new blank document will open. Next, we want to copy and paste the elements from the template to the new document. Go back to the Template tab. Let's say you want to design a collage for your two-year-old nephew. Select the page for number two. Click anywhere on the canvas until you see the purple outline. Click Ctrl A on PC or Command A on Mac to select all the elements. Then click Ctrl C on PC or Command C on Mac to copy the selected elements. Go to the New Document tab, click anywhere on the blank page, then click Ctrl V on PC or Command V on Mac to paste the elements. While we're at it, let's group all the elements together so we can easily move and resize them all at once. Use your mouse or the arrow key to move the number around. Use the purple line as your guide to center the number, drag in or out from the corner to resize. The blue and green images you see here are called frames to create a photo collage. We will fill in each frame with photos. First, you need to upload your photos to Canva. Go to Upload, click Upload Files, and select Photos from your folder to upload. You'll see all your uploaded photos here on the left panel. To create a collage, let's fill in your photos. Just drag and drop your photo into a frame, like this. When you drag your photo, you'll see a preview of which frame your photo will go into. Once you get to your targeted frame, drop your photo by releasing your mouse. To adjust your photo, double-click on the photo to access the crop and resize function. Drag the corner of your photo to resize it, and use the arrow key or your mouse to move the photo around. Let's fill in the rest of the frames. To change photo, just drag and drop a new photo into the frame. Next, let's add some text. Go to text, let's choose, add a subheading for a medium sized text. We can always change the size of the text later. Type in your wording. Use the top menu to customize your font. You can choose from a list of available font on the left panel. You can also filter the fonts by style, such as handwriting, corporate, and so on. I'm gonna use a calligraphy font for the top text and a simple modern style font for the bottom text. If you're not sure what font to use, you can just copy the fonts included in my template. Go to the Template tab, click on the font you want to copy. To copy multiple font at once, hold down the Shift key on your keyboard, Ctrl C to copy, and Ctrl V to paste the fonts on your new document. You can then edit the text and adjust the font size to your liking. Next, I'm going to show you how to download the completed design for printing. Click the Share button on the top right, click Download, and on the File Type drop-down menu, choose PDF Print. This will ensure you have a high-quality 300 ppi file for printing. Click Download, and you'll have the file downloaded to your computer. 
If you need any other file formats like PNG or JPG for printing, you can use an online converter to convert the PDF file. The one that I'm using is cloudconvert.com. You can just Google it. Once you get to the home page, type in the file type you want to convert. Make sure the pixel density is set to 300, then upload your file. Click the convert button, then download the converted file to your computer. Well, that's all for now. I hope you will find this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out my Etsy shop.